Yeah, well, I thought I'd do this uh, quick video um, showing how to actually take a photograph of your watch so that some poor bastard on the internet can assist you in identifying it. I don't know why it seems to be so fucking difficult, but it seems to be. So, I'm going to use my phone here, which is a pretty old phone, 2016. Um, and I'm going to use this bit of plastic here that I bought off eBay for like a few bucks, which is actually a kind of a phone holder, right? It's pretty, pretty nice. You just clip that around like that and then you lift the two sides up and then you can stick your phone in and you can watch movies or some shit like that on your phone. However, since it's facing that way, the camera is over on this side of the phone, isn't it? Right, so you can actually just tap the camera and then straight away you see the, the watch on there. Now one of the normal problems is that people go <laughs> well they're taking a photograph and, um, and it's just blurry as fuck and no one can read it. So take a second to look at your phone and ask yourself, well, does it have any features? Like a macro feature gosh look at that so I can just leave my watch there and I can move my watch to a place where even if I think that I have to hold it a little bit it's going to be a lot easier to hold my watch and look at that I can even read that on the screen so I just take a picture I can actually see that so now if I go in and look at my picture then zoom in on it a fair bit Probably even on the screen there, you can read that serial number, 4R36074W4. And it helps a bit to put some of the other stuff on the back. But you can also then post-process the image. It's, it's not, you know, drastically difficult. I've, you know. So if you're on a forum and you're trying to, you know, get help about your watch, why don't you try helping the people that are trying to help you?